Dominican College, situated in North Belfast, has a long tradition in education. Established in 1930 by the Dominican Sisters, its ethos and spirit is based on the Christian way of life. The school motto Veritas encompasses the quest for all that is true, good and beautiful. The study and cultivation of the arts in all their forms is a distinctive feature of the pupil's education. The musical tradition of Dominican College finds its expression in many diverse strands, some of which we now present. Music is very important in the day-to-day -day life at Dominican College and we aim to give all pupils an interest in and love of this subject. Enjoyment is an important aspect of our musical activities. All 150 form ones are clearly enjoying their performance of snakes. Instrumental work is an essential element of the program of study in Key Stage 3. Now we hear all Form 2 pupils using their instrumental expertise in Western theme. Instrumental tuition is available to all the enthusiastic and willing. Now Etta McGarry demonstrates some basic elements of viola playing to Rebecca. Check the bow hole, check the thumb, 
check your little finger and let it drop. Good girl. Right on the string and just draw me four bows down, up, down and up. Great, that was fantastic. I put it there, right? Now let's check this again. Relax your arm, relax your hand. Good. Relax your thumb. Now, place it in position. Good girl. Great. Right. Now just pretend you're bowing. Good girl. Watch this. Good. Now let's try it in the proper hold. Right. In position. Good girl. Now we'll try a lower string. Watch this. And do try to keep it parallel. Good. That went off, didn't it? Did you see what happened there? Try it again. Right. Parallel to your bridge. Good. Are you tired? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Right, under the arm again, relax. Right, let's take this hand, okay? I'm going to relax those fingers and pretend they're going onto the fingerboard and curve them. Really curve them. Good girl. Now we'll try once more. And we're going to put down one finger. And we're going to put it on the D string. Do you know its name? D. Yeah. It's going to be? And the first finger is going to be E. All right. Good girl. So we'll try now and make an E sound. Good on the D string. Good. Good. That was excellent. Now do the same thing on the next higher string. This is on your A string, right? What's it, what's it going to be? B. Good girl. Right, now do me four Bs. Great. Now, let's be really clever and do a D with the first finger going down to make an E. So it's going to be D, E, D, E. Okay? Good. Keep everything in. Great. Check your thumb bent. Way to go. And then do the same thing on the A string, A, B. Great. Relax. After a very short time, sometimes after only a few weeks of lessons, pupils are eligible to join the training orchestra. Participation in a group activity gives pupils an opportunity to work together and the feelings of cooperation and comradeship encourage them to practice and improve. Shortening Bread is now played by the training orchestra. It was arranged by Judith at New and is conducted by her. Judith, a final year music student at the Queen's University of Belfast, is a past pupil of Dominican College. Here she communicates her enthusiasm for music to our youngest instrumentalists. music in the life of Fort William Judith? 
Well, music's always been a strong feature in the Fort William tradition. I remember when I started in first year, I got involved in the orchestra with Mr. Dagen, who was head of the music that time. And I enjoyed the Irish arrangements. He used to arrange a lot of Irish music. And also, um, each year we put on a school production, usually at Gilbert and Sullivan, and that was good fun getting involved in something like that. Yes. And then when Mrs. McKenna took over, mm -hmm. she started up a lot more ensembles. You know, we had the chamber choir and the senior choir. And, you know, we did get very much involved. Yes. Also, yeah. we participated in festivals and we did songs of praise as well one year, which was something that I'll probably remember always. But I think it's a very, very strong part of Fort William. Right. I was going to ask you whether any highlights or special events that you remember during your years here. Yeah, well, one that springs to mind, I suppose, is um, in my lower sixth year, I arranged a piano piece for the junior orchestra and I conducted it at the concert, which was something that was really exciting. It was something that was new to me. Yes. And it also tied in quite well with our academic work right. because we had to study mm -hmm. that for A-level. Also, um, in Easter of my final year here, yes. we sang the Messiah and I had a solo part then and it was my first singing solo part, so that's something that will stick in my mind, I think, as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And finally, Judith, you're now in your, in your last year at Queen's University. And I understand you're studying for an honours degree in music. Yes. Did you find that music here influenced or helped in any way the course you're doing at Queen's University? Well, obviously, um, my experiences here at Fort William encouraged me to do music at university. I think the discipline that was required to keep up yes. your studies in Fort William and to combine that with all the outside activities like the choirs and the orchestras, yes. that's helped me to discipline myself and my studies. And also, I level was very hard work and I yes. think it prepared me for the degree course. Of course. Thank you very much, Judith, for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. More advanced instrumentalists join the Intermediate Orchestra. Here, two of our GCSE recorder players join the orchestra for a performance of Scott Joplin's Elite Syncopations. Alongside the orchestral work, wind and brass pupils have an additional opportunity for music making in the school band. The individual tuition which many receive finds its fulfilment in this group activity involving 50 pupils.
Brass Quartet. groups of instrumentalists often meet to further develop ensemble skills and to add to their enjoyment. From the middle school, Henith, Barbara, Claire and Rebecca play in a clarinet quartet.
Therese, Aoife and Una from Form 4 play part of Foray's Cantique de Jean Racine. And Sharon, Christine and Karen from our sixth form play an excerpt from Bach's orchestral suite in B minor. performances are also encouraged and pupils are given many opportunities to play in concerts, public performances, festivals and assemblies.
Our aim that all pupils should enjoy music promotes a diversity of musical tastes and our traditional group is in popular demand for many school functions.
The school chamber choir draws on many musical strands for its repertoire.
a light-hearted musical, is a feature of the annual junior concert held in May.
the senior orchestra draws together our advanced instrumentalists, whatever their age or form in the school.
love of classical music is further promoted by the school choir, again made up of junior and senior pupils. This choir enjoys singing in our Christmas and Easter concerts. Here it performs, The heavens are telling the glory of God, and achieved is the glorious work from Haydn's creation. <laughs> 